All right, here I go. Well, in the middle of editing this photo right here, figured I'd like to do a tutorial on sharpening or whatever. I'm not, I'm not done completely with editing the photo or whatever, but I guess I'll just do a little quick, quick, quick tutorial on the, uh, on editing or whatever. Well, I'll put the camera details, lens, and all that stuff that I use for this photo and all that good stuff or whatever if you care about that stuff but yeah let me just show you how like i do uh my sharpening real fast see if I, you know this is a real quick process so uh here we go okay so usually after i've you know done everything which i, I haven't obviously but like <clears throat> if, if i was so i'm pretty much just gonna open a new layer so this is like photoshop like 2020 i think or 2019 one of them so it's a plus sign or if you have an older version it's I don't know, a little folding paper thingy. But, okay, so open a new layer, whatever. So I go to the image and I go to apply image right here and I leave everything as is. And uh, just click okay. And then I right click onto that layer and uh, I just convert it to a smart object. So, uh, convert, boy. I don't know, it's taking long. I gotta get a Mac or something. Come on, man. What are you completing? I swear it's not completing anything. Wow, that took like 10 years. All right, converted. So, <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> So now let's convert it to a smart object. So you just go to filter and uh, go to sharpen and then I go to sharp mask. So, okay, so now, now you get to pick how much you know sharpness you want, of course, or whatever. But the reason why I like using this method is kind of because I get to choose where I want to sharpen instead of having the whole photo sharpened because sometimes you want to leave some spots kind of soft, especially if you're doing like close up portraits and things like that. So, uh, let's just let's take it to zero so you can kind of see so you see how kind of soft it is so um and we can go to the extreme 500 and see how you know that's too much so uh let's just uh let me see so you can do the preview right here and kind of uh, let me go a little bit more just so we could kind of see it for tutorial sake i guess okay uh preview on all Okay, that should be pretty good. Okay, so pretty much I'm gonna leave my radius at one or whatever. I say I have 158 amount percent. So just push OK. So uh, once I have this, now you see the whole photo is sharpened, which is not what I want, right? So pretty much what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push Alt or Option for Mac users and push this layer mask right here, right? So now you see it's back soft or whatever. So pretty much I'm gonna pick my brush tool. I'm sorry to select it for some reason. I'm gonna pick my brush tool. I'm gonna leave my pass at 100%. That's normal. Flow at 100%, right? My smoothing's at 10, whatever, right? And uh, make sure that's white, which it's probably automatically gonna be. So, and I just brush over where I wanna sharpen. So for this one, I'll just say, I'll just, uh, let's say I'll do the eyes, right? So if I just brush over the eyes, you can see it just sharpened it. And get some eyebrow action going on, boom. Sharp, sharpness, sharpness right there, right? So you can see, let's get some lip action too. See, so you see how sharp that is. So I have the rest of the photo kind of soft or whatever, and I just kind of sharpen exactly. So this is like a great method if you don't want to sharpen the whole photo for like faces, really. Like, you know, so see, wherever I hit, see, it gets a little sharp, just get sharp. So that's like a quick method, one way of the many ways, see, sharpen this. So it's like different ways you can sharpen, but this is the way I like to use depending on what kind of photos I'm doing, or whatever. So. There it is. You can just, and you can see a preview right here of like the spots that you've kind of sharpened or whatever. So, yeah. So, there it is. Quick and simple. So, all right. That's it. Y'all get out of here.